Hey, and we're back with part two. Um, I'm not gonna bother trying to say anything because never wind up saying anything useful or important. So, I'm back after a couple of days. Um, I'm still sick, but generally better. Uh, nobody says anything different. Oh my, what's going on over here? Uh, oh, good. You're still here. It seems like you had something you wanted to say. Right. Uh, do you think maybe... <laughs> Let me start over. We're running an in-type deal right now and doing some cool theater stuff for our guests. I think you'd be perfect for the role of the big bad wolf. You really think I'm suited for a role like that? Come on, don't make that face. You're the only wolf I know. You expect me to look for a bear or something instead? I don't think it's a good idea to try to use something to try to use someone because you think that they'll be scary. Why not? People love the tension. And why shouldn't I aim for the best production possible? Besides, it's not that I personally think you're scary, it's just, you know, everyone's afraid of wolves, so I'm playing to that fear. Couldn't figure out what to do with voices, so I'm trying to at least be a little more energetic, because it was very... just felt awful last time, and I kind of phoned it in pretty bad. I can't work for you. I already have a job. What? Where? Since when? The hot springs. A few days ago. Ah, uh, And my star was already stolen away before the spotlight could ever reach her. What's the poor Moxie to do? It seems like everyone had fun the way it was. Why do you have to change it? Cause I can't just settle for good. I have to be better. Hmm, if you can't do it, maybe I'll up the stakes by going in the opposite direction on the food chain. It's the same problem. You'll just make foxes look worse. Why do you care? Just think about it. Evil foxes versus a little bunny. Your girlfriend would be really cute in that role. We're not... It isn't like that. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. You suddenly moved in together and you're telling me nothing's going on there? We're just friends. And she wouldn't want to be in that kind of role either. Okay, bye then. Jeez. I'd rather wait not here if you didn't secretly want to help me out. Nothing wrong with trying to do what's ex trying to do what's expected of you. That's how I made it here. Whatever, this is fine. My cast can stay. My cast can stay foxes only. The show must go on after all. What are you doing? Stop it! No, it's the opposite of what I wanted. Man, I spent so long trying to iron out all the kinks so that there would be no issue. Issues. Oh my god, I could punch something. Sorry. Thought I had all this ironed out, but apparently not good at anything. Hey. Almost. Okay. Do, 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 leave. Uh. 
anything else running that doesn't need to be? No, I guess not. Six weeks later, it's springtime! Another wonderful day to be Moxie. Let's go out there and do our best. Forgive me, other clothes. I'm in uniform now. Messy as always. These drawers are actually empty. I don't know what to put in them. I do all my paperwork here. By which I mean... None at all. Uh, wait a minute. It's oddly quiet. No, not that. Oh. I see. Okay. So you skedaddle. You scooch. Sure, we haven't had any guests in a while. Where the heck are my friends? Here we go. This room's empty. No one in here. Empty room number three continues to be an empty room. Chai doesn't seem to be in there. Are they downstairs or something? Vacant. Chai isn't anywhere back here. Huh. Letter of resignation. Well, that can't be right. Good one, guys. Let's see how far this joke goes. Moxie, this is a letter from all of us. Short story is, we quit. So, yeah. We're not actors. Well, Chai is, but... We don't want to do the mystery murder thing anymore. We're barely scraping by and it's not going to get any better. It's just kind of a waste, really. We followed you out here in the first place to eat rabbits, and that turned out to be a bust. All we did was make him build a wall to keep us out, so that was lame. We gave you a chance for a pretty long time considering the way we are, so you're welcome. See you back in Ginseng when you finally give up. Pepper and the others. What? This is a little mean for a joke. Hey, sorry for letting Pepper write ears first. Figured it'd be a bummer. And it was. But you got me to pick up the pieces. I'll begin by saying that Madame Saltsworth wishes you her sincerest farewells. Well, you know how bad I am at the whole drama thing. But you always let me put in my own brand of humor anyway. You're pretty good at this theater stuff, Moxie. You ought to pursue that instead. Go be a big shot actress, or even a director. You probably don't want to come back to Ginseng, so sorry for not saying goodbye in person. I'll miss you, pal. So. You should come home, Chai. Those guys... No. They should have realized going home isn't an option for me. 
I just have to work even harder. It's time to find a brand new cast. Then when everyone hears about how great the Foxy Lodge is doing, they'll all come back, they'll all come begging me for their old jobs back. Ha! Moxie's unbreakable. Moxie's not an unreliable quitter like her friends. No, of course not. This little setback ain't stopping me. Yup. Just need to find and hire and rehearse with two or three people and be willing to drop everything and work for little to no money. Or... I could just put some kind of new spin on the Foxy Lodge. A one-man show? Bed and breakfast? No, I can't cook whatsoever. What I need is... Inspiration. I'll go enjoy the fresh mountain air. Man, I haven't had a day off in forever. This is a blessing in disguise. Oh no. Even the weather's gloomy? Figures it'd be cloudy on my day off. I'm not letting it get me down though. Let's go get inspired. Yay! Maybe if I sit here for a while, I'll feel inspired by nature. All I feel is desperate. This isn't working. Now, because we figured out the, uh, the little key code, passcode, whatever, in the second game, we got access to an anywhere pass and a candy coupon. It's for some place called Atelier Suites. We know where that is. Unless you didn't watch uh, Syrup in the Ultimate Suite. Which, if you'd like to, it's on this playlist before this series. $26? What an odd amount of money. This is from a different game by the same creator called Her Tears Were My Light. Welcome! Are you new to using the InstaRail? I can give you a quick tutorial if you'd like. Yes, please. Since you have an Anywhere Pass, you're permitted to travel to any station within our circuit. The entrance you just came through will always lead you home, while the door on the other side will take you someplace new. Oh, and if you need help finding a specific station, you'll have to speak to my associate, Time. She's standing by the other exit. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, so in that story, there's three characters. Um, space. One's name is Space. One's name is Time. And the third's name is Nil. And these folks are cosplaying as those characters. That's why their name is like... Uh, Spice and Time. Nil is still just Nil, though. But it's a doll. I think. So it says. I don't know much about magic. Could you explain it to me? Most certainly. The InstaRail is a railway system with stations all over the world, even spanning across dimensions. As long as the rails between the stations are connected, you'll be able to access them via this chamber. We're by this chamber we're standing in now. This vehicle appears at every station simultaneously, giving the illusion that there are a great number of them when actually it's only the one. As for where in the universe this train exists, that's a secret. Our competitors aren't allowed to know about things like that. What competitors? All you need to know is... Bleh. All you need to know is that... It's a train with infinite entrances and infinite exits. That's the power of space-time magic. So that's why I never see any trains actually running along the tracks. They're all already at the stations. 
Huh, me. What is this place? What is this place? It feels all magic-y. That's because it is. The Instarel uses special, spatial, and temporal magic in order to transport matter anywhere in an instant. It's primarily used for long distance traversal, but we also offer limited time travel services anywhere to customers within any time pass. So we could like, go see Baby Treat as a baby, or see, go to the future, see if everybody gets married. I never knew time travel was such a readily available option. How do I get a pass for that? Oh, they're very expensive. You also need to be licensed to use it due to regulations against frivolous creations of alternate universes. What? Then it's probably impossible for someone like me. Nothing's impossible. In the meantime, we hope you get the most out of our spatial trips. Bah! Our spatial travel services. If you have any other questions, who are you? My name is Moxie, by the way. What's yours? You can call me Spice. I'm a witch who, spe who specializes in spatial distortion magic. It's nice to meet you, Moxie. <coughs> Excuse me. You too. Your doll's really cute, by the way. Thanks. Have you heard of a story called Her Tears Are My Light? Time and I are huge fans. We're actually cosplaying as the main characters from it. Hee <laughs> hee. Check it out if you get the chance. I hope you like it. Never mind. Oh, who's this? Elini. Sigh. Excuse me, miss. You sure look miserable. I am. That's because... When I moved out of frosting, I lost my means of summoning my hot girlfriend. Oh no, that sucks. Summoning? Sigh. I mean, she wasn't actually my girlfriend. But she could have been, you know? So let me guess. You've been looking for her? That's right. I thought traveling on the Instarail would take me there the fastest. But so many weeks have gone by now. I should have just tried gathering stuff for the ritual again. It would have taken a while to prepare, but not as long as this has taken me. Ritual. Uh, well, good luck with all that. Thanks. I'll find you, Camilla. Sigh, mumble mumble. Wish they'd hurry up and build more stations in the netherworld. Um, uh, I couldn't help overhearing. Did you say netherworld? Yup. I found out the Instro can take you to a few different demon cities now. But I don't know which one my Camilla lives in. I don't know how to do a sad, uh... I forgot her name already. Since there was only a few des a few stations, I thought I could definitely find her if I asked around. But barely any demons are bilingual. It's so hard. Uh, this is a lot for me to take in. Camilla, the journey has made me realize I can't love. I just can't love demons in the same way I used to. I only want to find you now. Did you put a curse on me? I'm going to make you pay for that. Was this a revenge quest all along? Sigh, Camilla. I'll punish you. It's definitely a revenge quest. Okay, that's all. Excuse me, I'm trying to get to a place called Atelier Suites. That's been popular recently. Here, I'll need your pass for a moment. Mumble mumble. May as well rename the station at this point. 
It's so tiresome connecting to a town without a name. Alright, at Lie Sweet Station. I'm setting your pass to that. Walk out the exit, and that's where you'll end up. Have a nice day. Thanks, you too. Spice told you we were cosplayers? How embarrassing. It's flashing a list of destinations. Yay! So these two characters are from another game, or I don't know, they're, they're like cameos from one of the developer's friends or another game. I don't know, I don't know why I'm trying to pretend to. At Lie Sweets, I've heard that the candy there is so good, lots of people want to steal the recipe. Especially since it doesn't need magic to make it. But, uh, I'd never do something like that. Yeah, you better not do something like that. What is this guy's problem? But, I'm sure you'll learn something just reading it. So make me some candy when we get home. I'll make Batam a candy feast when we get back. What's your problem? Hey. Hey, Fox. A candy store down the road. Have you ever been in there? Uh, it's Moxie, not Foxy. And no, not yet I haven't. Sure, sure, Moxie. And I'm Batam. This is Sal. Hey there. I'm asking about the candy store because I'm really impressed by it. It's run by the alch- Blech. It's run by an alchemist. You know, the real rebel type. Sorry about the voice, he just looks... Grumbly. I don't know why. Rebel. Anyone who stands against the norms of magic has my respect. After all, how are we going to learn anything if we don't question some of the old ways now and again? Adam is right. This lady deserves some respect. As a chef, I just gotta try some of her candy. And so should you. Sure, that's what my coupon's for. What the hell? Why is this fox trying to talk to me? Who just walks up to a stranger and starts talking to them? She's still looking at me? Who are you? What do you want? Calm down, Darren. It's probably nothing. But she's a fox, so what if... Is she, go is she going to eat me? I came here to buy a snack, not become one. Uh, how's it going? Please leave me alone. I only wanted some candy. This is the last time I ever leave my house. Okay. What's a fox doing here? Are you lost? Yeah. Is this the line for Atme Sweets? I've got a coupon. Yo ho, a coupon. Candy Alchemist seems to be doing a good job with adverti advertise me out. Toffee, don't talk to strangers. I forget her voice. Yeah, oh, wow, my apologies. This great and powerful witch is my master, Butterscotch. She's a little temperamental, yeah. I see that coupon you're holding, but don't even bother trying to get into Atlee Sweets. Syrup makes everyone wait in line, even her friends. She only does that to keep you in your place, master. <laughs> yeah. Shut up! That's not how it is. Anyway, <clears throat> here, have one of my candies instead. It's called Butterscotch. No oh, thanks, I don't really want it. How dare you! My candies are irresistible! So rude. One day, I'll make something even better than her ultimate sweet. You'll see, you'll all see! Nutmeg! Hey, I know you. You used to work near frosting. And you're one of the foxes responsible for my transfer to this strange, nameless town. 
Your hair is darker than I remember. You uproot someone's life and that's all you have to say for yourself? I'm sorry. It isn't all bad here. Witches are quite fond of owls, so I suppose it's fine. Oh, then you're welcome. You're insufferable. Is that good? Please leave. I've been standing in line for ages. And now I have to put up with this fox. What an awful day. What an awful day off this has turned out to be. This store is actually pretty popular, huh? I'm here because I have a coupon, but it doesn't look like I'll get to go in anytime soon. How sad for you. Come on, I'm trying to make a friendly conversation here. How long are you going to hold a grudge? Moxie. That was your day, wasn't it? Do you know why I chose to work on Mount Sorbet specifically? No. Was there something special about it? It was the perfect environment to keep my hair its natural white. Among, many, among other many practical reasons. Now that I'm living here, in this place where you can only tell the season by which holidays are coming up, I... I am... You mad at me because your hair changed color? Not even I'm that shallow. Perhaps. You hope I'll be able to move back someday. One day, once things are frosty, go back to normal. And until then, you can always visit... Oh. And until then, you can always visit. I changed the Foxy Den into an incredibly cool and great hotel. So, I'll stay elsewhere, thanks. Nougat has had no trouble adjusting up there, I'm sure. I envy his carefree lifestyle. Looks like a lot of twisty streets ahead. I really don't want to get lost here. Yeah, I think that's all you get to do. Just a little Easter egg area for for doing all the special stuff. Um, how long have we ran? A uh, couple minutes. We'll cut it. Feels like it. Feels like it's been longer. What do I know? Insta rail station ahead. Blum 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 blum. Hey little buddy. Ah, they won't let me in. Maybe I should just go home. Hi there! Looking for a place to stay? Uh, no, sorry, I was just talking to myself. About frosting, right? Sad how they don't even let a harmless little mouse in. I understand how they feel, though. I'm from a mice-only village. But, um, the outside world it isn't as scary as you think. It sure isn't. But seriously, if you wanted to stick around here for the night, my place has lots of vacancies. Picking up strangers. Maybe the world's more dangerous than I thought. It isn't like that. I run a hotel. Oh. Still no. Still, no thank you. Maybe the weather here matches up with everyone's hearts. What are you, a poet? Don't you feel the sadness in the air? You don't think people's feelings can affect the weather? Nah, I think it's impossible. That'd be like saying people who live in places that get typhoons and stuff brought it on themselves. Yeah, that is a little extreme. But I think it can happen sometimes. After all, it rains when it, wherever I go, and I'm a pretty gloomy person. So it's like a rain cloud following you around? 
Move to the desert then. <laughs> failed, failed laugh. That is a really good idea though. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I wonder if I would cause flash floods though. Maybe I shouldn't. Forget what I said. You don't have to feel responsible for the weather, okay? Rain's a lot back home. I wonder if it's raining there now. Okay. The town of Frosting. A friendly, safe, and secure mountain paradise for rabbits. The only thing friendly about this town got kicked out a long time ago. Then to add insult to injury, they had to make it the ugliest looking wall possible. Ugh. Are you talking to me? Not really, just ranting to myself. Same as usual then. Well, someone's gotta be mad about this big ugly thing, right? How noble of you. Tch. And this was, uh, this game was made before 2016, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. This was not, uh, commentary on Trump. But it fits. You walk by here often. You missed me, didn't you? I get it. No one else hangs out around here, so, just, so you're desperate for some company. You're making a lot of presumptions. How's the guard business treating you? Don't your legs get tired from standing in one place all day long? Not at all. A job is a job. <sighs> he he make he reminds me of like a Lego person. Like I know I know that's not quite the shape, but I don't know. He just feels like a toy. You're not working for just you're not working just any job though. Everyone you turn away from this gate comes straight over to my place. Hearts and wallets open wide. So thanks for that. I'm sure all the little bunnies you're protecting are grateful too. You think this wall benefits both parties then? No, I think it's stupid. That doesn't mean I shouldn't take advantage of the situation, right? I understand. Whatever pays the bills. Hey, exactly. You really get me, mister. You know, it's been bothering me. Who even paid for a wall like this? It ain't coming out of my taxes, is it? Ow. I'm not too informed on the details, but anti-predator lobbyists got the whole project funded. Rotten lobbyists. Hey, what's a lobbyist anyway? Uh, basically, lobbyists are people who influence what kind of things the government gets done. So those are the guys who put their money who put up their money to build this big dumb thing? Not exactly. All they needed to do was convince some rich guys that building this wall here is important. As soon as those upper class rabbits heard about some podunk mountain town dealing with fox trouble, well, it's a pretty easy case to politicize. I don't really get it. You're saying that people... Wait. You're saying people who have nothing to do with frosting decided they knew it was best for it? That's how the government works. Zing! Let's overthrow it. As a government worker, I can't abide a comment. I can't abide comments like that. Hey, I think I know why I like chatting with you. You remind me of my friends. Other foxes? 
Uh, yeah. Y'all tend to have, like, one face you make. I always know what to expect. See? Just like that. So reliable. Makes me wonder what your friends think of you. Oh, they all left. But wait, then that means... I've only been seeing everyone's I'm just putting up with you face. Not necessarily. Heh, <laughs> just kidding. Everyone adores me, I'm sure. I'm just putting up with you. Listen, I can't chat with you all day. It might actually get me fired. Sorry I'm not advancing the plot very much. Um, I guess I'll talk to this last guy and then we shall cut and the next piece will advance the plot some. What the heck? Someone ought to replace this sign. It's totally illegible. That's weird. Hello. Looks like it's gonna rain. If you're traveling always, I hope you brought an umbrella, miss. Shit, I had a voice for him. So you're that owl's replacement. Oh, you mean Miss Nutmeg? Yeah. We switched stations about a month and a half ago. Now this is my post. From which I deliver the post. Haha. <laughs> Can't believe they kicked her off the mountain over nothing. Oh, no, no. It wasn't like that. It was just... An owl shouldn't be going to and from frosting. It'd be weird. Why is it weird? She's been here longer than I have. But of course, those rabbits still wouldn't trust her, huh? Well, you know how people are. Miss Nutmeg's a friend of mine, though. I trust her. So you don't have to be mad at me or nothing. She's the one who's mad about it. It is kinda stupid, though. Hey, I just realized something. You run that one place just up the road, right? With the, uh, improv mystery dramas. Indeedly do, little man. I am the great, popular, and successful Moxie, owner of the Foxy Lodge. Cool, cool. Nice to meet you. The name's Nougat. Speaking of the Foxy Lodge, I'm doing a casting call right now. Would you be interested in pursuing a career in acting? Oh, I wouldn't be any good at that. Besides, I'm already working here. Yeah, just figured it was worth asking. <laughs> so, Nougat, where are you from? See that magic town down there? That's my home. Really now? Aren't there like a ton of cats living there? You're right. I'm from a mixed family. Mom's a witch, and Pops is like me. The reason we all moved there is because my mom's it's my mom's hometown. But don't worry, it's not scary. All my cat friends say they think of me as one of them. They've never even tried to eat me or nothing. Lucky you. Dad says it's because I got charisma. But I think it's because cats are nice in general. Oh yeah? Cat girls are cute. Yeah, that's what I need. A cute cat actress. Know anyone? You're funny, Miss Moxie. I'll try to get back to you on that. I wouldn't mind if you came to keep me company more often. Always happy to see a friend, you know? Okay. So, we shall snip it here. And... Start it back up momentarily. Ba da bum ba da bye.